Hello guys and welcome to the Internet Bread, a show where we discuss entrepreneurship, how to make money online, digital marketing tips and tutorials, SEO and more. This is the episode 6 of our 101 ways to make money online series where in, in each episode we talk about one new business model or method to make money from the internet. My name is Abhishek Yadav, let's get started. The topic for today's video is for all the creative people out there which is how to make money online selling photos. Now. When I say photos, I don't necessarily mean only pictures it, uh, that are shot from cameras and stuff, but uh, I'm also talking about illustrations, graphics, uh, then icons, elements, patterns, mandalas, anything. Okay, so uh, any kind of um, image that you can capture, uh, you can sell it online and you can make money out of it. And uh, this is actually quite a nice business model because uh, here's the catch. You have to click the photo once and you have to upload it on the website that we are going to discuss but once you upload it people can download it for a lifetime i mean people can keep it is always going to be there and as long as somebody is downloading it you are going to keep making money okay so uh, like your one photo can fetch you some amount of money for every single month for the rest of your life if one photo hits all right so that's very interesting about this and uh, so now let's get started with what kind of so uh, we will discuss both uh, the DSLR like the the pictures that you click with the cameras and uh, also uh, illustrations but let's get started with the photos that you click with cameras first all right so speaking of uh, pictures that you actually capture uh, you don't necessarily need to have those professional DSLR bazookas that uh, expensive cameras worth thousand uh, dollars and I mean I don't know how much that costs but you don't need all of that fancy equipment not necessarily if you have it it's better but yeah you can get started with this uh, right with your iPhone and uh, even with your good good kind of a any Android device all right so yeah you just need to click up a device to click high quality pictures in and uh, if you're trying to uh, click photos on a smartphone there are certain settings that you need to tweak within your camera app so do your research it's very subjective to every, yeah, any device that you have so uh, like do your research and try to find the best frame rate and everything uh, what, all those settings that you can uh, do so make sure that your camera app is well equipped before you start clicking photos with a uh, camera smartphone if you intend to sell them all right so uh, once you have your uh, equipment in place uh, so what what kind of pictures to click what kind of pictures are going to sell so the model is very simple these websites where you're going to sell these photos people come there uh, to buy your photos a person will only buy your photo when he needs it somewhere so uh, you have to think from the perspective of an advertiser all right so uh, if somebody is making a documentary about mumbai they will probably want to take uh, want a picture of the mumbai sea link or if somebody is mentioning new york then there has to be the new york skyline and stuff like that right so uh, you have to uh, yeah think from the advertisers perspective like and uh, so you cannot uh, be randomly clicking pictures of uh, a particular book that's your favorite and the shot is really nice uh, you can definitely click uh, photos like uh, you can click templates actually uh, that's also a great niche so basically you click a picture of a blank book okay there needs to be no text or lines on it because what this will do is it will help the person who's purchasing it he can put in his own uh, text or whatever information he wants to uh, insert within those book pages right so that can be edited out later on by the person who purchases this but you have to make sure that uh, your images that you click uh, they can be easily repurposed it can be easily used and uh, yeah basically if if somebody cannot use your picture they will not buy it okay so you just have to make sure that your pictures are very nice they are high quality also quality matters a lot uh, so your pictures have to be high quality and your pictures have to be a generic topic kind of a thing or like a top topic uh, a particular thing or place that's very trendy uh, a lot of people care about it so make sure that you click popular places and things right okay so that's that's just the basic about uh, what kind of photos to click but next thing uh, would be a little technical uh, so what you have to do is instead of just going by your gut uh, what you can do is just go, go and explore these websites like shutterstock pexels uh, iStock photo adobe stock just go and explore these websites and uh, just type in random stuff like nature trees mountains or uh, planes anything airports and see uh, what's the average price for 
like for what price are these photos selling at all right so uh you just have to uh, get a rough idea estimate about how much money can you make clicking in this industry or how much money can you make um, what's the average uh, that sells here all right and what kind of photos you'll also get inspiration for if this particular photo is shown at the top so also notice that uh, whenever you uh, let's say you search for airports okay and uh, a picture of uh, a very famous airport maybe LAX airport or something some a uh, one particular shot comes in front of you okay so you have to kind of like you guys are creative so you have to try to understand the image and uh, yeah what's in the shot why is it appearing at the first okay why is it like why why is it preferred more okay so these websites have their algorithms built in such that if a photo is performing better it will always be pushed ahead all right so uh, make sure that you look at the first row of images for a first line of images or whatever and uh, yeah try to understand and uh, try to replicate and if you're a person who travels a lot then nothing like it this is going to be the best thing that you will uh, come across and you can click pictures everywhere that you go and then upload them to these websites and make money out of them all right so um, and i guess you guys know better than me about what kind of photos to click since you guys are the photographers if you're listening to this so yeah and we'll get to the illustrator part later on but first let me just uh, take you through the drill okay about uh, like how how is the because the process is the same if you're a photographer or an illustrator so now let's get started with uh, how do you actually sell these photographs all right so there are these websites uh, so particularly shutterstock uh, you guys must be aware of it it's quite like the most famous uh, imagery website there is uh, then there is uh, getty images uh, this istock photo 500 pixels alemi and uh, there's another one uh, which is called fop.com f o a p.com so there are these these are the websites that i have found that uh, they have the highest uh, like revenue that you can generate from them they have the highest payouts um, and if not the highest payouts these guys are the ones which are the most famous uh, which means they will have more buyers so if a website is paying you less that's also okay if they compensate you with more sales so I, i'll take an example of shutterstock and how to like i'll take you through the process of how to upload a picture there and uh, why we uh, like uh, discussing shutterstock here is because it is by far the biggest and the oldest website uh, uh, in this particular category and also uh, this website has a uh, certain approval feature which most websites have kind of replicated they have a similar process and recently as we are filming this video uh, the date is may 27th 2020 and just two days ago uh, around may 25th shutterstock has redone their entire pricing structure okay so this is something like Uh, they have recently changed and this is like a huge update uh, while doing our research we found out that it has affected actually a lot of people's uh, livelihoods uh, about how they pay and how much they earn all right so there is there's been a commission cut uh, by shutterstock so we'll discuss that further so the first step uh, to upload your pictures on shutterstock would be to go to this url submit.shutterstock.com all right uh, i'll have all of these urls that we are discussing and all of these websites uh, on our blog post uh, and like uh, on our on our blog post you'll find all the relevant information uh, the text format of this particular podcast and uh, also a- everything that we discussed basically and the blog post for uh this particular episode is going to be backlink.com which is b a c l i n c .com slash photos okay p h o t o s photos okay backlink.com slash photos all right so you can go to that url and you'll find all the links you don't need to re- uh, remember all these so just make sure that you go to our link and uh, there you'll find everything so as i was mentioning go to submit.shutterstock.com and sign up there with a the basic account and once you are uh, like signed up with all your basic details just click on the upload button which is going to be in the top right hand corner and uh, then you have the option to upload your pictures okay you can upload multiple uh, pictures at at the same time but here is a tip do not upload a uh, a lot of your pictures all right so now uh, don't be uh, emotional or don't be uh, fo- like driven by your emotions at this particular point go to your instagram portfolio or wherever you are currently uploading your art 
or your pictures and maybe look at the most liked pictures all right because those are the photos which have clicked the most with uh, other people uh, so make sure that you take your top 5 or top 10 most liked pictures and also if there are some photos that you feel that didn't get a lot of recognition but it is a great shot then you should definitely go ahead with it but all i'm trying to say is that do not upload everything only put the best of the best content all right because uh, that's going to that's going to help you a lot in the long run so just have less content but killer content all right it has to be the best so once you have uploaded your best pictures on shutterstock uh, uh, you will come to this uh, particular screen where you have to define your uh, images all right you have to fill in the information for them so Uh, yeah so, so the first question you will be asked is that uh, select the image type on shutterstock okay is this an illustration or is this a normal picture photograph all right if it's a digital artwork uh, put it under the illustration category and if it's not then it's a photograph all right then the next step so you have to select if it is an editorial picture or a commercial picture so a uh, commercial picture is the one where you intend to sell it and uh, you have commercially like clicked it like this is a photograph that you wanted to sell it's nothing it's not somebody else's property or something but an editorial picture will be the one uh, where this is a public property okay so let's say you have clicked a public uh, uh, you were in a press conference or somewhere and you've clicked a picture so that will go into an editorial picture all right and this completely does not apply uh, apply to the illustrations so uh, illustrations are only commercial pictures so the next step uh, is fairly important which is adding a description to your picture so define your picture in simple words and also mention all the objects that are seen within the photo let's say i was trying to find the image of the sun and uh, i'm not quite finding the uh, one particular frame that i'm liking or the any photos that are available under the category sun are not um, up to the mark it's just not what i'm looking for but then there is your picture where you have clicked the picture of the beach all right your your subject was the beach but there is the sun in the background and now that sun is the exactly the one that i was looking for the perfect the angle and everything uh, it is just what i was looking for all right so i may still buy your image for the sake of the sun which is in the background of your particular photo all right and then do my editing or whatever so uh, this happens a lot actually and i'm saying this from my personal experience because i don't sell on shutterstock but i definitely buy from shutterstock okay and uh, i know how difficult it is sometimes to find things so uh, it really helps when uh, pictures are categorized very nicely so even if you have the picture of a beach so mention every single thing that is seen uh, in, uh, within the picture all right so uh, so you can put sand uh, water sun and you get the point so uh, add a very detailed description uh, of your picture and uh, later uh, you have to select the category shutterstock allows you to pick two categories uh, but they don't matter much because as people don't go by the category as such people just make a search so that's why your description and the next point keywords are very important so now talking about the keywords keywords are the most important step if you uh, kind of mess this uh, you are not going to generate as many sales as you could all right so keywords are definitely very important okay and shutterstock gives you an option to upload uh, from up to 10 to 50 keywords all right 10 is the minimum 50 is the maximum and uh, meanwhile Sh uh, shutterstock also uh, so once you start typing the keyword shutterstock also kind of uh, analyzes the picture and gives you suggestions so you can use those as well but uh, in the keywords again be as descriptive as possible uh so and also mention uh, add the keywords for everything that's available in within your image all right Every, everything that's seen in your image has to be within the keywords as well because these keywords are the phrases that people are going to search and that uh, so that's what helps uh, people come across your photo so uh, yeah once you add the keywords uh, the next step uh, is kind of very important uh, because this is about the legalities involved with the photos So in the legal side uh, you have to fill out these release forms okay and what are these release forms so uh, the, a release form is basically a form where uh, whoever is in the photograph let's say uh, you have clicked a picture of your friend 
ओके एंड यू आर अपलोडिंग इट ऑन शटर स्टॉक एज अ स्टॉक इमेज सो यू हैव टू डाउनलोड दिस रिलीज फॉर्म गेट इट साइंड बाय योर फ्रेंड एंड देन अपलोड इट सबमिट इट बैक टू शटर स्टॉक डिक्लेयरिंग दैट यू द फोटोग्राफर और योर फ्रेंड हु इज इन द फ्रेम हैव नो ऑब्जेक्शन अगेंस्ट दिस इमेज बींग यूज एनी वेयर कमर्शली राइट so that's the whole point behind the release form and shutterstock is very strict with these release forms so uh, an example that i'd seen is that uh, even if you have a silhouette of yourself or of any human being uh, within a frame okay it doesn't matter how tiny it is uh, shutterstock will require you to uh, get the release form signed for that particular human all right so uh, release forms are very important and make sure uh, so yeah i it, it will be kind of convenient and easy for you guys if there are no people involved in your frame and just there are sceneries and landscapes so yeah so if there are people there has to be a release form which is submitted and signed if you have a uh, if your picture has a private property then uh, the particular picture will require a property release form all right so a lot of times uh, people also take objection against this is my private property how is this on internet and how is it being commercially used so shutterstock needs in uh, the all kinds of documentation and uh, permission for that as well you have to get the property release form signed and submitted as well the next release form uh, will be for uh, public places okay so uh, this means you cannot click pictures of uh, monuments and uh, not actually monuments but uh, at least for buildings and uh, famous structures within cities like uh, you cannot click a picture of the burj khalifa or the world trade center and uh, because these photos will get rejected okay because since uh, unless and until you get a release from, form from them okay but there is a work around uh, to get your photos approved if it is a public property or a monument or something like that so what you have to do is whenever you have a picture which is a public property or it is a monument you can put it under the editorial section so remember earlier uh, at the very first step uh, after uploading the pictures we selected uh, we selected if it is an editorial image or if it is a commercial image so uh, if you have monuments and uh, public places in your photographs you can go and select the editorial section okay you can you can just put your photos in the editorial section and they will get approved instantly and that's a loophole so uh, that was about the legal bit of uh, shutterstock and once you submit all of these details what will happen is uh, shutterstock will take a approval period uh, and they will get back to you uh, with the news that is your photo approved or disapproved all right so the chance of disapproval Uh, only come across when the information is not filled in correctly or else uh, your your legalities are not proper okay so the release forms are very important and uh, then yeah that's about it how to upload pictures on shutterstock and once you do uh, they'll take it forward from here okay here, your job ends here all right as a photographer you just have to go and upload your image images on these websites okay and that's all now uh, with shutterstock the minimum payout that you will receive is $35 and now speaking of payout let me explain to you how do you get paid so the payments are calculated depending on the number of downloads or sales within a year this is specific for shutterstock other websites have a similar approach but you have to explore it yourself all right so i'll be only discussing uh, shutterstock to not make this video very long so and also shutterstock is the most prominent one so you definitely have to be on shutterstock if you want to sell your photos so uh, yeah shutterstock pays you depending on how many times your pictures have been downloaded or sold within a given year and every single year uh, on 1st jan your uh, calendar resets all right so what i mean by the calendar resetting is that you get paid within levels okay so you are in level 1 at the very beginning of course and level 1 is where you sell less than 100 photos in a year okay and if you have sold less than 100 photos in a year your payout is going to be 15% of whatever the image is sold for so let's say an image is sold for 10 dollars then you will be making 1.5 okay so that's level 1 For Shutterstock, level two uh, comprises of uh, photos up to 250 downloads. All right. So if you have uh, made 250 sales, okay, then your payment payment will come out as 20%. Level three 
has photos up to 500 sales and then your payment structure uh, payment goes to 25% on level 4 here get here things get very interesting so uh, level 3 is at 500 sales and level 4 is at 2500 sales and 2500 sales get you 30% commissions and level 5 is 2000 25000 sales all right so level level 5 is 25000 sales and there you will get 35% and level 6 is the final level uh, after which you get low increments so if you sell more than 25,000 photos you get capped at a 40% uh, uh, payout okay so but now the part that uh, is not great about Shutterstock is that well, let's say you sold more than 25,000 photos and you are earning a 40% commission next year your commissions are going to drop back to 15% all right and you have to again build up to the 25000 plus photos and then you will get back to 40% or wherever you re manage to reach all right so that's one part that's not all that great and so this is the latest uh, commission structure for shutterstock and it has just come out two days prior to recording this podcast but uh, nevertheless this is not small money you can really make a lot uh, as a photographer uh, like just having your images uh, go ahead and earn money for you for a lifetime uh, I think that's uh, that's not bad at all so even if your one photo gets highly recognized and it's it's in the shutterstock is always promoting it so one photo can uh, keep fetching you 100 to 200 dollars for the rest of your life and the more photos you upload the more you're uh, improving your chances of uh, get, uh, getting in such a situation now another good thing is there are tons of websites like shutterstock and that means there are tons of channels for you to earn money from so shutterstock can become one one channel where you're selling but then you can uh, sell your photos on other websites like getty images or jetty images gedty getty images and uh, iStock photo 500 pixels and uh, there are uh, these are the websites which are the uh, adobe stock is another one so these are the websites which are like the prime players of the whole uh, stock photo industry you can by the way also sell video footages on shutterstock and all of these other web websites but um, uh, selling a video footage is quite difficult as compared to selling images let's say uh, to put it in perspective if you were to sell 10 images uh, in that ratio you will be only able to sell one video all right so uh, yeah that's the whole thing about video and video also has kind of a similar payment structure uh, you will uh, once you sign up you will be aware of it as well and now for the illustrators and uh, the graphic designers the entire process stays the same there's nothing different actually both are images both are photographs uh, but yeah uh, only thing that's going to be different for you is that you have to select the image type as an illustration and uh, everything remains the same but uh, what kind of illustrations are going to sell on shutterstock i would like to uh, speak about that for a little while now so make sure that you are uh, try to design uh, things like icons and elements okay so a lot of times uh, i personally develop a lot of SaaS websites okay or i i, I de develop websites in general our company develops websites for a lot of clients so a lot of times we are in the search for a particular uh, man or a analytics graph or a stick figure or something like that or a particular icon so if you can generate uh, develop icon packs or you can generate elements or you can generate uh, graphic uh, art basically anything you can generate uh, high quality backgrounds uh, so these are the kind of things that can sell a lot all right and uh, for illustrators i will say try to make illustrations with the startup world in mind because these are the people who are always buying stuff on shutterstock and websites like so okay like i mentioned we are always buying and we are actively looking for uh, illustrations and uh, elements and icons of uh, people figures numbers graphs charts and these are the kind of things that we are looking for whenever there is a website development order all right so designing for startup world in mind uh, will really help you get a lot of sales all right so that was for the illustrators as well and uh, the entire process stays the same for both the both the artists so now that was i guess pretty much it for how to sell photographs online and make money or potentially even make a living out of this and 
I hope that you guys really liked this episode. If you did, please share it with your friends and uh, share it with your friends who are graphic designers and photographers and illustrators and tell them that they can get paid for what they're actually already doing. So don't just let that photo be on Instagram. Come and upload it on Shutterstock, uh, Getty Images and all of these websites and you can make a living out of it. That was pretty much it from my side. My name is Abhishek. Uh, you're watching the Internet Bread by Backlink which is a digital marketing company based in Mumbai and this is our initiative to educate people about how to make money online and start their online journey as we did and make sure to go to backlink.com slash photos okay where you will find the written description for this particular episode there will be a blog post and you will find all the necessary links to the websites like Shutterstock, iStock Photo, Get Images and all of these websites so go to backlink.com slash photos which is B-A-C-L-I-N-C dot com slash photos that's it for me see you guys next time